there, it's Pastor T with another daily psalmanac, where I hope to help you grow in the practice of prayer through a deepening relationship with the prayer book of the Bible, the Psalms. And today we'll be reading, reflecting upon, and praying back to the Lord, Psalm 58. I invite you to follow along in your own Bible at home or to listen as I read. Do you indeed decree what is right, you gods? Do you judge the children of man uprightly? No, in your hearts you devise wrongs. Your hands deal out violence on earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray from birth, speaking lies. They have venom like the venom of a serpent, like the deaf adder that stops its ear, so that it does not hear the voice of charmers or of the cunning enchanter. O God, break the teeth in their mouths. Tear out the fangs of the young lions, O Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs away. When he aims his arrows, let them be blunted. Let them be like the snail that dissolves into slime, like the stillborn child who never sees the sun. Sooner than your pots can feel the heat of thorns, whether green or ablaze, may he sweep them away. The righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mankind will say, surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you feel a little bit uneasy, about reading, much less praying, a psalm like Psalm 58. I understand. I'm with you. Psalm 58 is one of what we call the imprecatory psalms, those psalms that call down God's judgment on the wicked and do it in vivid and powerful terms. Let them be like the snail that dissolves into slime or even like the stillborn child who never sees the sun. How can the Christian pray such a prayer? We who are called by our Lord, no less, to love our enemies but we're able to do so. You and I are able to love our enemies, one, only in the power of our Lord Jesus and through the grace of the Holy Spirit. But two, we love our enemies also by committing and commending them to the Lord, by calling them to repentance, reminding them of the judge who awaits us all. We do unbelievers no favors by acting as though all is well. Now, still, to praise a psalm like Psalm 58, might be difficult for us to say the words are so harsh, but let them be prayed through the love of our Lord Jesus, who truly has loved his enemies to the end and loves even those who turn back against him to this day. It's not easy, but it can be done and committed in the care of our Lord. Let us pray. Blessed Lord Jesus, we thank you that you have loved your enemies even unto death. Help us to do the same through the power of your spirit. In your name we pray. Amen. And now may the Lord, who bears with us in the face of all opposition and enemies, be and abide with you today. Go in his peace.